Today, I'm gonna to show you simple techniques to painting power weapons. Yo dog, Kenny Pichet here, Next Level Painting, hitting you up on the literal best of all days. On this glorious Friday in the Beats Lab in Hollywood, California, we got another painting tutorial for you. I'm gonna keep it short and I'm gonna keep it sweet. I've been under the weather for about a week now, been on crutches for a few days. It's been pretty hard to paint and keep up with everything. Luckily, I have an archive of videos I filmed that I'm not sure if I'm gonna turn into studio tutorials. I had one on power weapons. It was on the Angel Night. Filmed it right before LVO. So I'm gonna show you how to paint power weapons again. I know we've done it before, but this is different because it's an angel night. Also, we're using Army Painter all month. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is, even with Army Painter, which is a brand that is more about dry brush technique and wash technique, and we're gonna create icy power weapon effects with it. That simple, guys. Let's do this thing. Hydra Turquoise from the Army Painter. We're gonna use our paintbrush as per the standard and we're gonna actually lay down a nice thin coat over this blade. This is one of my favorite techniques. A lot of people would be obsessed with taping off the blade and coming in with the airbrush, but if you do one or two thin coats with the, with the paintbrush first, you can just come in with the airbrush and clean it up. It's pretty simple, way faster. So we're grabbing that War Paint Mixing Medium in Void Shield Blue, and we're gonna to mix together a highlight layer inside the airbrush. So this is a little water, a little mixing medium provided by the Army Painter and Void Shield Blue. So we're going for a pretty abrupt transition, taking it from that turquoise to that incredibly sky blue, powdery blue. Now we're gonna grab some matte white. You always gotta be careful with the whites. This is no exception. I had to make a very thin compound. Brought it however thin you think you need it, even thinner. So this is all about trigger work. This is about providing more air by pressing the trigger maximum and only pulling the trigger back a little bit. It's like 99.1. So the very watery white that's coming out is sticking before it runs because we're just barely letting it hit the model and then we're letting the air seal it up. So now let's grab that Void Shield Blue again and I'm gonna show you another trick I like to do. We're gonna water down the Void Shield Blue and then we're gonna blur the line, the transitions between the mid-tones and the final white highlight and you'll see that the blue immediately interacts with the white in a different way. White goes over blue, kind of pastel, but if you bring the blue back over the white, you're gonna get that very deep, that very true transition that seems to have depth, like it, it becomes something real versus something that just had white paint added to it and then looked really pastel. That's a color I try to avoid. Okay, so now this is where you get the crisp lines and this is still all army painter this is matte white what we're going to do is simply trace the lines of this sword not all of them though because that would be insane so this angel knight sword from kabuki it's a little bit different than the traditional power sword from gw it's got more interesting angles that are a little bit more challenging to hit in my opinion so it's all about nice thin strokes holding the model in the correct position that you can just drag the brush along those edges. That's a lot easier than trying to draw lines on. I'm always trying to use some angle on the model as a stencil so we can make crisp lines. Also, watering down the paint really helps, uh, but when you water down white too much, it means you just have to do more coats, so you have to find that perfect balance of white. That's where the mixing medium comes into play. It lets you thin the paint out without, without losing any of that, uh, you know, coverage that that, that oomph that these unwatered down army painter paints have, which is one of the things that makes them amazing and for getting you know armies to the tabletop really fast. And this entire Angel Knight, which we painted here, it's, it's, it's mind blowing how, how simple these techniques are and how good it looks for as much time we put into it. So it's the same kind of process here. We're gonna draw these white lines on this, this wishbone pattern really hard to brace against those edges. You're just gonna have to come in and be brave. But once you can get past that wishbone, that, that crazy channel, you can draw straight lines down against the inner edge. Now, I didn't do it on the top edge there, but do as I say, <laughs> not as I do. So same thing right here, we're gonna you know edge in some cool lines, use a little artistic freedom here to decide where the gleam is gonna go on the inner hilt there. 
just do give it a, give it a second pass reinforce the whites and you see we didn't just trace every hard edge we made it look its most exciting on the sharpest points but we, you know we mix in uh, this is like a this is a basic transition there's no crossfade here nothing it's just clean edging over icy blue transitions very interesting and even though i love doing crossfades where one half of the blade is the reverse transition of the other side i think that's amazing technique I also think that this more OG technique looks great too, but only if you put in the extra edge highlights. You can do the crossfades without doing any of the extra edge highlights and it looks great, but not, not this technique. This technique is hyper dependent on the, crisp, the crispness of those lines. So now what we're doing is we're just nitpicking, getting more and more confident as we go. And for me, it's not so much about light source, but about cool contrast and fun lines. And I think we did that here today on this Kabuki model. Totally 100% painted. Check out all the tutorials. Don't miss any of the action on Twitch, guys. Play on, players. If you like these tutorials, check out Next Level Painting on Patreon. Become a patron of the arts today. We offer early and exclusive access to our videos and a rewards program for different pledge levels. Patreon is PayPal and credit card secure, so you don't have to worry about that. We use 100% of the money to improve our process.